أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله الطاهرين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters, welcome to this session Again you are watching us and from Mashhad al-Rada alayhi salam And again we have much honorable guest in Mashhad al-Rada alayhi salam Sheikh, dear teacher Sheikh Muhammad Khalfan and we want to start uh, and get benefit from dear scholar and start to have another question today and uh, inshallah uh, he will tell exactly something in brief for all of us we if you want to know about the imam al-rada alayhi salam uh, i had a question in my mind that we know that uh, intellect is uh, something that is a good sources of understanding and everybody accept it in the world uh, I want to ask this question that uh, has Imam al-Rada alayhi salam underlined the importance of the intellect or not? If yes, please explain it for all of us. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is actually a very good question. Uh, with regard to the intellect, actually Imam al-Rada alayhi salam mm -hmm. has emphasized in such a way that there is one hadith that actually tells us that, you know, the intellect forms the basis of understanding. Mm -hmm. If you look at uh, the aqaid, that is the beliefs mm -hmm. of a human being, if intellect was not used, then even the Holy Quran would not have been, you know, accepted. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because, you know, how do you know that the Holy Quran is a miracle? Mm -hmm. Through the intellect. Mm -hmm. After you understand intellectually that it is a miracle. Or how we know it is authentic, it is not authentic. Exactly. Yeah, compare, Ex yeah. Exactly. So one of the very good companions who is well known also as a uh, lexicographer and also a grammarian who was very good in, in Arabic, Ibn Sikkit. Mm -hmm. Ibn Sikkit once asked Imam al Rida alayhi salam that uh, what is the proof for the people, you know, um, about the reality of religion and so uh -huh. on. What is the proof on the people? And Imam uh, tells him something very beautiful. He says, Al Aql. He says, with Aql, with uh, the faculty of understanding and the faculty of intellect, a person will know who is saying truth for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there, thereafter when he knows that this person actually is saying the true things and he's come from Allah, mm -hmm. you saddiquhu. He would attest to him and he would agree and accept what he has said. Mm -hmm. And this is it and it is the intellect that would know who is a liar mm -hmm. and will belie him and say that you know this person is a wrong person. So the intellect can judge mm -hmm. that this person is saying the truth and this person is saying lies. Mm -hmm. And thus, you know, Imam is actually telling us that you know, even with regard to the Imamat, mm -hmm. we are your Imam, yeah. but look at us properly. Mm -hmm. See whether we really are representatives of Allah or not. Mm -hmm. Now that you know what the Quran says mm -hmm. about Allah and about the Prophet, see, do we follow the Quran properly? Do we really represent the Quran or not? Mm -hmm. So this is one of the very powerful hadith of Imam al-Rida salam that tells us that don't consider aql and the power of intellect to be something small, no. Mm. It is a basis for understanding. Mm -hmm. Or in different hadiths we have, for example, from the Prophet Muhammad that Allah given to all of you, the humanity, something extra than the animals. Very so true. if you have something extra, you yeah. need to do something else. Not you should act according to the, like the animal. Yes. You should have some differences with the animals because you have something important. Very Absolutely, true. it's correct. Another question that I have, uh, it's rising in my mind, is that about rational knowledge. Nowadays, uh, when we read to uh, refer to the hadith of the Imams or the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam, we can see something about the importance of the rational knowledge. But nowadays, unfortunately, in some parts of the world, like the Western countries, we can see some scholars they don't exactly uh, mention or they don't care about such a this importance of the rational knowledge. What do you think about it? Well, this is also a very nice observation. Uh, if you look at psychology, also mm -hmm. the modern psychology. Yeah. They don't, they believe in statistics, yeah. not rational knowledge. Mm -hmm. While obviously rational knowledge is one of the bases of understanding. Absolutely. Yeah. The reason why, perhaps we can say one of the reasons why there is a kind of diversion from rational knowledge is that, you know, uh, either the, the, the intellectual capacities have grown less mm -hmm. because, you know, in, in intellectually knowing things, mm -hmm. 
uh, up to okay we can say that if you are dealing with scientific issues it's not very difficult mm -hmm. because everything is based on experimentation yeah, yeah. and then you yeah. and then you make a conclusion mm -hmm. but there are some things like mathematics mm -hmm. that deals with the, the power of rational knowledge isn't Absolutely, it you should use if that. if you discard rational knowledge mm -hmm. then discard mathematics altogether yeah, yeah. isn't it it's a very powerful reasoning here mm -hmm. now even when i am reasoning I use my rational knowledge to prove mm -hmm. to you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's how powerful the rational faculty is. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, when you talk about philosophical issues like the existence of God, like for example, the existence that there was there is a link between the human being, a continuous link mm -hmm. between the human being and Allah and all that, this can be understood by the faculty of intellect. Mm -hmm. So faculty of intellect is a very powerful basis. But the reason why there is a kind of delineation or we can say a, a, a kind of diversion from the truth of this faculty is either the incapacity and the weakness mm -hmm. of those people who are the empiricists, for example, mm -hmm. or and positivists, those who vehemently say, you know, that we should only look at the, uh, the senses. Sense perception is hujja and proof mm -hmm. for us. So if we can't see God, then God is not there, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, but that is not the fact. The fact is that we have the intellectual power. The second reason can be, you know, that uh, there is a di difference of opinion among people. Mm -hmm. And because there is a difference of opinion among people, these people are thinking that, no, the rational faculty cannot give us the answer, mm -hmm. while this is not the truth. The very powerful evidence of this is mathematics. Mm -hmm. You Surely. discard mathematics completely. Mm -hmm. Of course, you cannot discard. In fact, many mm -hmm. of our things today is based on yeah, mathematics. Based, yeah. Yeah. Based, yeah. Another reason why you know they start discarding the intellectual power is we can say the loss of uh, the natural disposition, which is known as fitrah. Mm -hmm. You know, in the Holy Quran, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says. Fitrat Allah allati fataran nasa alayha. Yeah. So it means everyone has that fitrah. Only that, you know, there are some people who, because of doing bad deeds, mm -hmm. they cover their fitrah. Mm -hmm. And thus they don't know what they are actually doing. Mm -hmm. And that's why they start discarding the intellectual faculty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very important. And nowadays we can see many people. They have the exactly intellect, but they don't. They try to don't use it, yeah. or they are in doubt. Yeah. Everything that you want to speak to talk with them with the justice and the reasoning, they say no. Maybe we are in doubt. And I remember the hadith from one imam that Allah has given to all of the humanity the, this intellect that because you must use it, you must use to understand everything. Yeah. If you try to don't use it, if you try to make in doubt and many things in doubt, Allah uh, exactly makes many things that you will be sh exactly that was clear for you something yeah. maybe it, it is so clear for you but Allah makes uh, such a this and, and uh, exactly uh, um, you tell exactly Allah uh, makes this uh, that you cannot be able to understand the thing which was clear for you uh, so uh, can you tell us something about this about the, if the people uh, intentionally don't use the exactly their intellect what will happen at the few at the end actually you know uh, you rightly say that sometimes what happens is that a person uh, the truth is before him mm -hmm. but because he doesn't use his intellect yeah. now and again he cannot comprehend the truth mm -hmm. and uh, this happens when the person uh, mostly depends on his uh, imagina imagination and estimation we, we call in Arabic Kual uh, Wahmiya and Kual Khialiya. Both of these, if they are used more than the intellect, mm -hmm. a time will come that the person will just think about that, you know, in those faculties. They will mm -hmm. not think intellectually. And when a person is not used to thinking intellectually, obviously he will not be able to comprehend mm -hmm. those intellectual matters. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Inshallah, Allah gives us this opportunity that uh, uh, we try to get benefit from this bounty that Allah given to all of the humanity, I mean the intellect, inshallah. inshallah. Thanks for your attention and have a great time. Goodbye. Alhamdulillah.